What's going on, everybody, and welcome back into Heated Shenanigans Podcast. We are your hosts, Colin, Brett, and Scott. And on today's episode, we're going to be discussing the recent comments made by Linda McMahon about the rapidly declining health of Vince McMahon. Uh, do pardon the very plain white wall behind us. We are in the process of getting everything set up, and it will look more like normal coming up on the upcoming episodes. But again, before we get into the topic for today, guys, make sure if you haven't already, leave a like, drop a comment, and if you've not already, hit that subscribe button. Great free way to help out the channel. Well, gentlemen, with that said, Vince McMahon, um, apparently in some poor health, also in the middle of a very serious allegation and uh, federal investigation. Uh, Colin, I'll open it up with you first here. What are your thoughts on this news? Well, uh, drama and stress can really do that to you. Um, what, what, I mean, what, do you, what do you expect? You, uh, you have all these allegations, you have all these issues, uh, your health isn't going to be uh, in the best um, situation and his age obviously does not help at all. And uh, losing your own company, potentially looking at other companies there's a lot going on for uh poor old vince and uh i mean i would feel bad for him but with all the allegations and everything it's kind of hard to feel bad for the man right look i i mean as both of you i'm sure been following it from from day one uh if if i could pull it back a little even before the allegations though i remember specifically having a discussion with my father and it was just like man where they could go if we just let you know trips hunter paul whatever we're going to call him run the show things would be going a lot smoother vince can essentially retire step away and you know go live the rest of his life but him and I both agreed that it was like he's holding on to his baby, rightfully so, but maybe it's because he has in the back of his mind that once it's not his anymore, that it could be a very short time before he's unfortunately not with us. And maybe that was what he was kind of worried about. He was just like, if I'm not doing this on a day to day, what am I going to do? Not enjoy retirement, I guess, just uh, wither away. <laughs> I, I mean, seriously, that, that was kind of where it was. Well, and the thing is, like, he can't even really enjoy this so-called retirement because he's under the watchful eye of the FBI and all the mounding federal, federal uh, evidence and the, you know, grant situation. Th there's one thing here I, I, I want to point out. And again, I, I don't mean to make light of the situation, but I do want to bring something up because I think it is very uh, prevalent to this topic. I want you guys to remember back to the, the steroid trial, which was at that time the most uh, dangerous threat to the history of WWE. Now, Vince McMahon magically comes into court with a, a neck brace. Uh, there were some back problems, I believe, as well that was reported way back when. Um, I'm just saying, if, if you're going to go into a federal trial, you kind of might want as much sympathy as you could possibly get. Um, if you're in poor health, really, like if this, Vince is what, in his 70s? Uh, 70s. And he's being accused of, of trafficking, which I'm sure is multiple counts and will have a lengthy prison stay. Really anything at this point in him for him would be a life sentence. So would you, if you were a jury, would you drop the hammer, the guilty verdict, or if you're a judge, would you drop the hammer on a man that possibly may not be able to see the entirety of his sentence? Is this a possible ploy to aid him in a courtroom? Colin? Uh, I mean, it's an aid. I'm a bad I'm a bad person to ask on this question because I'm dropping the hammer and like I don't care, uh, especially for this crime, especially for this you know alleged crime. If it were like you know, drug smuggling or you know, 
selling drugs, I'd be like, eh, you know, whatever. I don't care. Like, that's not as big a deal. I'm, I'm not really as worried about that sort of stuff. But for allegedly sex trafficking, no, nah, sorry. Like, I, I don't care. That's that's probably like top three or four as far as crimes. And I, I wouldn't really be too worried about it. Like, there's been plenty of people that have gone to jail and only served a couple months of their sentence and, and croaked in jail. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, if, if he is indeed guilty of this crime, let him rot. I don't, I don't really care. He can go to jail. Like he's not going to be back in WWE anyways, uh, guilty or not. Uh, I don't feel like he's going to be back in WWE. So, I mean, he's done everything he can for, for them. And if, if it is indeed guilty, then yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. Bye Vince. Right. Hey, I mean, story, story one, I read, I, I went, what story two, what, you know, you get it. Like it just kept, I was like, Oh man, like Vince, you have went to trial over a lot of things over the years. Some of them, honestly, I I didn't even realize because I was so young, but I read about later. Uh, and then I'm I'm just I find myself about where you're at, Colin, where I was just like, I don't think you're gonna win this trial. This is this is the one you're not gonna win. Like you're you're kind of yeah think think that luck has ran out there but i again i find it interesting that in the midst of a trafficking allegation amongst other uh federal crimes that he has allegedly broken it is his wife I, it's linda okay hold on in the comments because i don't know unless one of you guys know are they still married after all this I believe they are still legally married, but they're like separated or something, but there's no official divorce. I, if she okay. gets divorced to him, she, she is different. Whereas if she, if she gets divorced, she gets like half a stuff, but if she stays married and then he dies then she gets, you know, pretty much everything in the will. Cause I doubt he's going to give it to Shane and uh, Steph's already got the company technically with triple H. So, well, the, the company no longer, is part of the McMahon family, so. Okay, then, okay, so I guess if you were going to court or if you were in the public eye under heavy scrutiny from the, the feds, this is kind of a good PR move to have your, your, your wife who's so concerned that she's speaking out about the deterioration of Vince McMahon's health and it, he's not in a good place. And look, it's hard to feel bad for this man. It is hard to look at Vince and be like, I feel sorry for you because you've done a lot of horrible shit in your life. You have hurt a lot of innocent people and ruined a lot of innocent lives. I am not going to sit here on this podcast and tote the Vince McMahon pity party. Look, I don't want to see anything bad happen to anybody, but I'm just saying there is probably a special place in hell for Vince McMahon. Well, again, I'm I certainly do not ever talk in politics either. Uh, but to, to go off of that, uh, what I have read, at least with the Linda situation, was that she was staying very distant because as long as she keeps her distance from him, then she's kind of not bothered with the stuff she's trying to do politically. I don't think Trump would get involved in it either, only because I, I think it's more like at this point when i first read about the news breaking i was like they're gonna jump all over this and then it kind of started to hit me that i was like oh this is gonna be one of those that's drug out for a while and respectfully i i i guess is the word if you will i was like i think yeah especially after hearing that his health is declining that he's maybe not even gonna make it through to the end of the trial or again the stress of all of it is going to you know overtake so I, I don't know i think both of those two are kind of going to steer clear and it, he's got enough you know with money if you will and with attorneys that he could 
probably stretch this out a few years, if so. Maybe I'm off base with that, but that was where I was. I was like, man, I, I just, that was where I came to an end on that. I think you have a very valid point that he definitely had, he's, the long game's in Vince's favor. Like, he stretches it out. Like, if he legit is in poor health, this very, this reminds me so much of uh, towards the end of Breaking Bad, where they, they find out Walter's the big kingpin, the drug lord, and Walter's trying to tell Hank that, look, my cancer's back, doesn't matter, I'll never see the inside of a courtroom, they're not going to convict me, I'm a dying man. This is kind of the storyline I think we're in right now with Vince. Um, I just, I have a very hard time. And again, I could be completely wrong and Vince could be uh, deathly ill and on the brink of checking out. But you also have to stop and think how slimy of a human being he has been over the years. Falsifying medical records and his medical status from what he's been accused of, if that's true, I can't above that. Especially if it's keeping him out of the, 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 the pokey. I mean, it's entirely possible that he's faking it. It could be entirely possible that he's just, you know, generally sick and he'll be fine in the long run. He could drag this out for years and years. But the the, the problem is if he does get convicted, um, if he's appealing, he he basically appeals from behind a, a jail cell unless somebody, you know, dissolves the whole thing entirely so um if you appeal a crime that you've already been convicted of you don't get to go back home you stay in jail until the conviction is lifted so that'll depend um once he gets convicted though like it don't matter how much money you have you're if you're sent to jail you're you're gonna be in jail until it's overturned one more thing if i can the other thing too is like you said as dragging it out there I did also, and maybe, maybe I'm completely wrong here, but again, I, I just, I don't know the ins and outs completely of that, but I was like, I also feel like I could see it being drug out. Yes, everything's out there, but is there the possibility that after all this time, suddenly we reach a settlement and it's, it's done? Like, she's like, okay, like, you know, maybe I'm wrong. It doesn't change what he did. It doesn't change that it was put out there. But from my understanding, a settlement is a settlement. And if some way or another she feels that this is settled and done, does it just go away? I, I mean, he's essentially still, what, blackballed, if you will, from from all of it? Like, because it doesn't go away. But if there's no trial because she agrees to terms, again, could be way off base with that because I don't know the ins and outs of all that. I mean, a settlement is on the table. Like we, we could reach a settlement. I don't know. Like it, it's going to be tricky because I don't really know how the the legal proceedings with this work. Like if she drops it, but if the state picks it up, who knows what happens? Hopefully that's not the case because I I don't think something like this should end in a settlement, especially with the allegations that have been made against him. Um, but we'll have to wait and see, and we might be waiting for a very long time. Uh, before we wrap this up, did it, either of you have anything you want to add in? Um, well, if it's a civil suit, it wouldn't be um, – there wouldn't be jail time. It would be money. Um, if the feds are looking into it and the feds are involved, then this isn't a civil suit. There is no settlement. There's either – there's a plea agreement. Um, he could – he could plea – he could – well, uh, he could plead guilty and get a lesser sentence or no jail time, but I would highly doubt it with the severity of the crimes. Um, could you imagine Vince McMahon admitting guilt in federal court? I if, would pay to see that. If it pays, if it, it if it keeps him out of jail, I bet he would. Just just for that, I I think I read somewhere the civil suit. Uh, is already settled that they, um, but I, I could be wrong there. I, but yeah, if, if the feds are looking into it, it's, it's not a lawsuit. They are looking for jail time. So that no amount of settling for money is going to do anything for you. You're, you're doing a plea 
bargain at that point. Yeah, and again, guys, before we wrap up here, again, this very all may be true. Vince may be in serious condition. We don't know. Like, we're not as doctors. We're not as medical team. Uh, we're just discussing the possibility of if it is versus if it isn't. But for Brett, Colin, and myself, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Heated Shenanigans Podcast. Again, friendly reminder, if you've not already, leave a like, drop a comment, smash that subscribe button. Helps out a great deal here. Great free way always to help the channel. And guys, we will see you on the next episode of Heated Shenanigans Podcast.